you know the actual word failure does not appear in the Bible, not even once? Did you know every time the word is used fail in the Bible, it's a precursor to what? Someone say it, forgiveness. Each step on our journey is only one command, but it will be repeated over and over until we obey. When I started to get on the right track, I kind of went on, uh, I thought I was a judge. I thought I was here to judge others and try to correct others. My uh, questions came pretty quickly and pretty rapidly against others when the log was still in my eye. Matthew 23, is that anybody? I have a great memory of my sins. I'm going to say it again. I have a great memory of my sins. I had to forgive myself every time I remembered my sins. I was continually judging myself harder than God did. God already forgot them. God already forgave me. And yet I would remember them when I see a person, when I do something, when I go a place. I couldn't forgive myself. And I was being harder on myself than even God was. So Hebrews 11.32 talks about how by faith they overcame. Four men who lived in a time like we do now, where kings make laws, but each man that did it right in his own eyes, stood with the courage to do what was right by God. How many of you reached out to the ones that you sinned with and wanted to take them on the better journey? I know I did. I have to have the courage to stand here nervous, to tell my testimony that I died because I condemned myself to death when God said live. Thank you, Lord, for bringing me back. I tell you today, stand in faith and overcome. There's no failure in the Bible, only forgiveness.